Hello and welcome to my channel, Tom Yoga Om. My name is Tom and today's class is going to be all about getting us a little bit of energy when we're feeling tired. If you've ever felt yourself in the middle of the day, a morning, an evening, and you need more energy to go about the rest of your day, but you're feeling fatigued, then this is the class for you. So let's get started. To begin with, we are gonna to come to a comfortable seat. Also, if you do happen to have bricks, then we are gonna use them in this class. If you don't have them, I'll show you a modification. And whenever you're ready, just come to a position that feels comfortable for you. You can sit cross-legged or on your heels and just ground down into your sitting bones and your feet, sit up nice and tall. Imagine there's a string pulling up from the top of your head, lengthening your spine and just soften your shoulders. And we're gonna take 10 deep breaths here just to check in and see what is going on with our bodies for this practice. So as you sit here, either close your eyes or soften your gaze and look down at the floor and take a deep breath in through your nostrils down into the chest and the belly. And exhale out of the mouth with a sigh. Let's take two more breaths like that. Breathe in deep, exhale out, and last one. Good, and for these remaining seven breaths, just deepen your inhale. I imagine you're breathing in a 3D shape, so expanding in all directions. And as you exhale, soften your shoulders, soften your neck, Soften the sides of your body and soften down into the floor. As you breathe in, imagine that you're lengthening up through the top of your head, the top of your spine. And again, exhale to soften. And over the next five breaths, just check in with your physical body. So do a scan from the top of your head down to the tips of your fingers and toes. And notice if there's any physical part of you that feels fatigued. And is that maybe the reason that you're here? And then just notice the mental part of your body and just make a note of if there's something going on that's maybe making you tired. You know, maybe there's a lot of work or activities on in your life at the moment. Let's check in for two more breaths. And for this final round of breath, without judging yourself, just check in with your energy levels. Whatever you're feeling right now is totally okay, but I'd like you to tune in and assess and sort of um, analyze what you've got going on in your body, in your head, so that we can compare that to the end of the class and see if you feel a difference. So take one more big breath in and out. And just let it go. Good, and let's just resolve to spend the next couple of minutes without judgment. If you need to take a rest, if you need to just sort of stay in a position a little bit longer or do a different one, please feel free to do so. We're gonna hop onto our hands and our knees to begin with. So just come into that tabletop position Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and start to lift your back up to the ceiling. Press your knees and your feet down into the floor and draw your chin down and lengthen out through the back of the neck. Take two breaths here into the back body. Feel the back of your lungs expand and exhale to press the floor away. One more. Good. Keep the back body lifted and just start to circle your shoulders around your wrists. One breath in one direction. And circle the other way. Another breath in the opposite direction. Breathing in. And out. Good. And then from here, just bring your knees and your feet together. Press into your hands. Lift your knees up off the ground. Stretching into the tops of the feet. And exhaling down, and from here, bring your fingers to point back to, to your knees, and just gently move your hips back towards your heels so that you feel a stretch in the forearm. Good, and start to drive your wrists down. 
two breaths, relax the tops of your shoulders. Still kind of keeping it slow, still just checking in. Good, rock forward and turn your hands back to face the front of the mat. Then come all the way back again. Just gently shake those hands out. And from here, we're gonna bring our wrists together, our elbows together, interlace our fingers, and just gently circle our wrists. My pedometer in my watch is gonna think I'm getting my 10,000 steps done today, which is great. And circle the opposite way. Opposite way normally feels a little bit awkward. And just do your best here. Take one more breath. Good, and shake it out. Let's circle our shoulders a little bit. Big breath in, big breath out. And the opposite way. Big breath in, big breath out. And from here, I'll turn forward so you can see me. We're gonna lift our shoulders up into the, to our neck. Make sure that your head is facing forward. Just take a big breath in. And as you exhale, drop your arms down and sharply sigh out of your mouth. <sighs> like that. It's really nice. Helps you kind of relax. Two more breaths. Breathing in. And out. <sighs> and last one. Breathing in. And out. Good, and from here we're gonna take our hands onto our knees. We're inhaling, lifting our chest forward, lifting our belly forward, doing a seated cat cow. And as you exhale, grip onto your legs and round your back behind you, tuck your chin down. Two more, breathing in. And breathing out. One more. Slowly curling your spine and just feeling a stretch. Good, come back to a neutral position, sweep your arms up. Exhale, float them down. Two more. And last one, just find your breath here. Breathe in deep. And exhale out. Good, keep your left hand on the floor, take your right hand onto your head, and just drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Two breaths here, stretching into the left side of the neck. That's it. And then after that second exhale, use your right hand, the one that's on your head, to lift your head back up and bring your right hand onto the floor, left hand on top, big breath in to lengthen through the spine. And exhale, drop that left ear down to the left shoulder. Does it feel different on this side? Where do you feel the stretch? Take two breaths here. Just enjoying stretching into the neck. One more. Good, after the exhale, take that top hand, bring it underneath the head and lift your head up. From here, we're gonna take our left hand onto our collarbone, which is like that, kind of the girdle of your neck here. And I want you to pin the skin that sits on that collarbone down. So you're just putting your fingers on it and pressing down. You're gonna turn your head towards the hand where your neck is pinned. And then you're just lifting the chin up and away. And you should feel a nice stretch in the front of the neck. You don't want to feel any tingling sensations or pinching that feels sharp. Just take two breaths here. We never do this stretch in everyday life, or if you do, well done. Most people don't. So just notice what that feels like for you. One more. And then come back to a neutral position, just change sides. So pinning the skin of that collarbone down, just pressing it down. And then you're turning your head towards the hand that's, pin that's pressing down, lifting the chin up and dropping the head away. Two breaths. Good, and from here, we're just gonna do one last stretch before we come into our sequences. Sweep your hands up. 
And as you exhale, bring your right hand onto the floor, reach your left arm over. And from here, take your left hand onto the back of your head, cup the back of your neck, extend your left elbow up and look towards your left armpit. Try to drop that left shoulder down and just find the stretch from the elbow to the hips here. Breathe into the left flank of your body, the left side of your rib cage. And just practice turning your head, but with a bit of support. And when you're comfortable, slowly lift both arms up and come back to center and just change sides. So dropping the left hand down, right hand comes onto the back of the neck, turning the head to the right, lifting that right elbow up and reaching over towards the left side. Breathing into the right flank of the body. And just do your best to drop that right shoulder down. You can still reach up without lifting that shoulder up. You try and feel that and find that stretch. And after your second breath, let's just release the hands back down onto the floor. And from here, come back onto all fours. And just notice how you feel. I feel a little bit more energized, which is nice. Um, step your right leg back and just move the heel forwards and backwards to check in with your hamstring. And from here, kick your left foot down into the floor, come up onto the left fingertips. And when you're ready, lift your right leg up, extend your left arm out, take a big breath in. As you exhale, bring your left elbow and your right knee together. Breathing out. Two more. And last one. Good. Inhale, extend both limbs and hold. Just hold for two breaths. And just find your balance here. Press down into the floor. One more. And after that second exhale, drop everything down. Just step your left leg back. Come up onto the right fingertips and start by finding the stretch in your hamstring. Two deep breaths. Well done. And when you're ready, press down into that left hand, kick the right foot down, keep it kicked down. Left leg lifts up, right hand lifts up, breathing in. Exhale, bring the elbow and knee together, round your back to the ceiling. Two more. One more. Good. And inhale, extend in both directions. Hold for two breaths. One more. And exhale, bring it down. Good. From here, step your feet back into a plank. Lift the space between your shoulders up to the ceiling and take three breaths. Just working on that core strength a little bit. We're going to feel that great sensation of stretching into our down dog for the first time in just a moment. We're going to come to down dog. Just take one more big breath in and out. And after your exhale, bend your knees, press into your hands and come all the way back. And your body should feel pretty good here. Now we're just going to move into those legs for a little bit. But to start with, bend your knees left to right and walk your down dog on the spot. Check in with the hamstring, check in with the hips. My hips feel pretty tight, my hamstring feels tight. But I find that my hands and my arms feel pretty strong and I think it's because of those exercises we did earlier, which is nice. Alrighty, from here, I'm gonna inhale, lift the left leg up and just hold here for a sec. Take one more big breath in, just holding this pose. Finding one nice long line from the hands to that left heel. And then take one more breath here. And as you exhale, step your left foot to the top of the mat. Drop your right knee to the floor. Good. Take the bricks if you've got them and bring them onto either side of your left foot. If you don't have bricks, I totally appreciate that. I didn't have some for a long time. What I'd like you to do is take your fingertips onto the floor and just use your fingertips instead. Good. But if you've got bricks, kind of, they're not, they're not there to make life simpler. They're there to make things easier and there's a difference in that. It's just easier to come into the stretch you want to feel. Rather, I think a lot of people mistake props and bricks with making yoga simpler, but it's not the case. It's just a little bit easier to find what you're after. Anyway, 
Keep your left knee above your left ankle, hands onto the bricks or fingers on the floor. Flatten your back foot out on the ground and as you inhale, just lift your chest and your belly up. And as you exhale, I want you to tuck your back toes under and really just gently straighten that front leg and come into a pyramid pose. So folding forward, just stretching really casually into that left hamstring on the exhale. And as you inhale, drop that back knee to the floor, breathe into the belly, open your chest up and squeeze your shoulder blades together. And as you breathe out, press into your front foot, straighten it out and fold. Let's do three more like that. Just flow with your breath. Keep it gentle. And when you're ready, you can drop that back knee to the floor, move your bricks out of the way. And from here, we're going to flatten our back foot out on the ground, bring our right hand onto the floor, onto the inside of our left foot, take our left hand onto our left knee and just twist. Have a go at looking up. If your neck hurts, cup the back of your head just like before and drive that elbow up. And take one more big breath in and a big breath out lower yourself down onto the floor and from here we're going to step that right foot just in to the halfway point in the mat press into that front foot hands onto the hips lift yourself up take a big breath into your belly and into your chest prepping for pyramid pose and as you exhale reach your belly and your chest forward find the stretch in your hamstring and extend out through the top of your head just take a big breath in and a big breath out one more. Good. Then take your right hand onto your left thigh. And from here, take your left hand onto your lower back. And what I want you to do is just turn your left shoulder back behind you. So you're turning your left shoulder back. And you don't need to lower down too far. It's really just a gentle twist here. Focusing on our balance and focusing on the twist. If you feel comfortable, you can lift your left arm up. Just take two deep breaths here. Keep pressing into the floor. Last one, big breath in. And a full breath out. Good, and then inhaling. And as you exhale, float your left hand down, place your hands down onto the floor, step back into a plank, breathing in. Exhale, lower down onto your belly. Press your feet down, squeeze your shoulders together, inhale up into your cobra. Exhale to lower your spine down, roll it onto the floor. Two more, breathing in, lifting up. And exhale, roll your spine down, vertebrae by vertebrae. And last one, full breath in. And full breath out. Good, tuck your toes under, power up into a plank or a tabletop. And as you exhale, come back to down dog. Nice, bend your knees left to right. And just walk your dog on the spot. Notice your left leg and how it feels compared to the right, probably a little looser. And when you're ready, inhale that right leg up and hold here for three breaths. And just take it nice and easy. And focus your attention on your breath for this last inhale. And exhale. On that breath out, step the foot forward to the top of the mat. Nice, take the bricks there if you have them, or your fingertips down onto the floor. And just start by coming down onto those hands, inhaling, lifting the belly and the chest up. And just taking two breaths here. Opening the chest. Getting the blood flowing in that front body. When you're ready, one more breath in. And as you exhale, tuck those back toes under. Straighten the front leg and fold. And just keep flowing like this. Four more breaths. Breathing in. Into the belly, into the chest. And exhale, pressing away. Three more. And I like to think of my spine in this pose. 
and just feel how it changes shape as I move from that inhale to the exhale. I can feel it in the hips as well. Opening that left hip and opening that left glute as I fold forward. Last breath here, nice and easy. Breathing in and out. Good, and when you're ready, you can bend that front knee, drop the back knee to the ground and move the bricks out of the way. Step your, uh, plant your left hand down onto the inside of that right foot. Take your right hand onto your right knee, breathing in and breathing out, twisting. Looking up to the ceiling, cupping the hand on the back of the neck if you need it. One more breath. Good, and when you're ready, come back to center. And from here, step that left foot to the halfway point in the mat. Press into the front foot and lift yourself up. Take your hands onto your hips, breathe into the belly and the chest, and exhale, reach them forward, 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 and down. Good, don't need to come too far. See if you can breathe into where you feel the stretch. So I feel it in my hamstring, and particularly around the back of my knee and my upper calf. So I'm gonna breathe into that space. Imagine I'm sending the breath there, and as I exhale, I try to soften and relax that space rather than lower myself down. One more. And you might be experiencing something completely different, so just notice what's going on for you. And when you're ready, bend that front knee and lift yourself up. And from here, we're gonna do that twist again. So take your left hand onto your left thigh, uh, onto your right thigh, right hand onto your lower back. Take a big breath into your belly and into your chest. And as you exhale, fold yourself forward, just to a space where you're comfortable and peel that right shoulder back and see if you can look up. See how that feels for you today. Twists can often be quite energizing. You might find that you can lift that right arm up. And you're happy with that. Or maybe lower yourself down, lower that torso down to a more horizontal position. Just notice where you're at. And take your final big breath in here. And as you exhale, flow down. Plant your hands onto the floor, step back into your plank, take a breath in. Exhale, lower down. Good, when you're ready, inhale, lift up into a cobra, a gentle one to begin with, pressing your feet into the floor. And exhale, roll your spine down. Kind of like a snake or a cobra. <laughs> Lift up a little higher if you feel like it. If your back feels okay. And exhale, rolling that spine down. It's like, imagine, imagine someone's like um, releasing a rope slowly onto the floor. Try one more of those. Breathing in, breathing up. And exhale, rolling that rope down onto the ground. Nice. Power up into a plank or a tabletop. And exhale back to down dog. Bend your knees left to right. We're almost there. And when you're ready, take a big breath in, lift your hips and your heels up off the floor. And as you exhale, ground them down. Let's do two more like that. Breathing in, lifting up. And breathing out, grounding down. And breathing in, lifting up. And breathing out, grounding down. Good. We're going to do three more of those. But this time we're going to sigh out of the mouth when you ground down. You can either sigh out or you can do a lion's breath depending on what you'd like. It feels really good. It's kind of like a cathartic release. Have a go at it. When you're ready, breathing in, lifting up. And exhaling, sighing out. Good. Two more. Breathing in, lifting up. Breathing out. One more. Breathing in. And breathing out. Good. Hold there. Find some stillness. Take three deep breaths. Just notice what's going on for your body. 
Notice how you feel physically. How you feel mentally. And just take one more big breath in. Notice how you feel energetically. Do you feel a difference? Good. When you're ready, just drop those knees down onto the floor and bring your feet together. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, just drop your hips down towards your heels and drop your forehead down onto the floor. We've got one last little pose here before we wrap things up. And I just want you to rest for a moment. Breathing in and breathing out. Checking in with how you feel. Good. When you're ready, you can bring your knees a little bit wider and staying down in that child's pose. We're going to do a bit of a stretch for the sides of the body. And this is the last kind of area that we haven't really focused on today. So that's why we're doing it. Surprise, surprise. Plant your hands down into the floor. When you're ready, I want you to inhale and circle your torso over towards and above the left wrist. So breathing in, kind of stretching out to that left side. And breathing out, circling your hips all the way down onto your heels. And then inhaling them over to the right side and moving your torso over your right wrist. And exhale, circle those hips back and down. And just know that the larger you make that shape with your hips, that half circle, that U shape, half moon, semi-crescent, you know what I mean? The more you're going to feel the stretch. I find this one's really nice for the side body. Breathing in as you lift up. And really nice for the glutes as you breathe down. You stretch into the sides of them sides of your hips. Can you feel that? Like how often do we do that? Not so often, right? Let's do one more on this right side. And bring it down. Good. And from here, just lift yourself up to tabletop. Let's do two cat cows. So breathing in, tuck those toes under this time. Breathing out, round the spine away. One more. Breathing in, drop the belly down. Feeling a little more energized, breathing out around the back up to the ceiling. Nice. Then when you're ready, drop back to neutral. Step that right foot to the right wrist. And step your left foot to the left wrist. Coming into a squat. And just ground down into those feet. If you can't get your heels down onto the floor, you might be up on the toes. See if you can hold here for a little bit. But if you can't, you can always bring some bricks underneath your heels or sit up onto a brick that can feel quite nice but I'd like you to get your hips to drop as well so make sure you can feel that stretch on the insides of your hips bring your arms onto the insides of your legs and press your legs open so as to stretch the adductors which are the muscles on the insides of your thighs and then press your legs in and feel the stretch in your lower back you feel that? So your arms are pressing out, your knees are pressing in. Drop your chin down, drop your shoulders down, relax your hips. Keep the pressure of the arms and the legs and take three deep breaths. See if you can focus and deepen your breath. Two more breaths here. And last one. And when you're ready, bring your hands down onto the floor. Roll onto your back. And come all the way onto the ground. Take one hand onto your belly, one hand onto your chest. As you exhale, soften into the ground. And then last little stretch here, we're just going to drop our knees to the right. Take two deep breaths. Inhale them back up and drop them to your left and take two deep breaths.
inhale them back up and for your last pose come into happy baby so bring your hands onto the insides of your knees onto the outsides of your feet massage your feet if you'd like draw your knees down towards your armpits down towards the ground and try and keep your lower back on the floor if you can there's a difference between lifting that lower back up and keeping it grounded and just bringing the knees down you can feel the stretch in the backs of your glutes can you feel that Let's take three deep breaths in and out here. You might want to straighten your legs a little more for something a little different. And then bring your feet and your heels together. Bring your feet and your heels onto the floor. Take one hand onto your belly, one hand onto your chest, and just take 10 deep breaths in and out here. Settle yourself down into the floor. Find that nice and smooth rhythm to your breath. For the next three breaths, just scan your body and notice what's going on in that physical sense. Is there anything that's shifted, moved, anything that feels sore or injured or tight that you need to be aware of? And then juxtaposed to that, just notice where you feel energy, where you feel openness, where you feel space and where you feel rested and stretched. Three breaths. And then just notice your mental state, your emotions, what's going on for you right now. And finally, notice how you feel different to what you felt at the start of the class. And that's our last breath there. If you want to stay here, you can. Otherwise, just wriggle your fingers and your toes and just stretch your arms and your limbs out in all directions, breathing in. And when you're ready, make your way onto your right side. And just take a breath in and out here, checking in with your body. One more time. And bring yourself up to a comfortable seat at the top of your mat. And once you're there, Place your hands comfortably and take three deep breaths to close this class. Just keep noticing that energy, that flow within you. Those spaces where you feel open and stretched. I hope that you feel a little bit more awake, a little bit more energized, a little bit more ready to tackle your day. Go well, and I hope to see you again. Namaste. If you haven't already, it'd mean a lot to me if you could subscribe to the channel. I post videos every week, and it helps the channel grow and be seen by more people, which helps me do more of this. Um, if you like the class as well, you can leave me a comment, and I hope to see you again. Namaste.